Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Garland Jeffries. Garland is extremely present when he sings because he wants them to feel it. From under the town. He doesn't have this wall up and he's singing right to you. He's got this energy, this talent, this very powerful center. He was kind of this exotic figure to me. He always had that kind of cool soul R&B vibe to his music and rock and roll, so there was always interest in Garland. Well, many times his audience have had a hard time figuring this man out. His roots are black, Hispanic, and West Indian, but he sings a blend of hard-edged urban rock and roll with a little mixing of something called Jamaican reggae. The classification is the reality and the tyranny of the music industry, and he's been a victim of it. What are the frustrations of that kind of an existence when you're trying so hard to say, hey, listen to me? I've always had this feeling for survival and mm -hmm. moving ahead, you know. Mm -hmm. Strong feeling for survival. Yeah, you have to. Sometimes he sort of disappeared for a long while. There was a period when he wasn't around. What they would tell me is that when I was born, my dad kind of took a bunch of time off to be a dad. He's always been sort of at the edge of fame. And by fame, I mean big fame. I think that the spotlight should have found Garland more often. 